In this tutorial, I'll show you how to colorize your animation with the OLMET method. Um, the OLMET method is the one used in TV Paint Standard Edition. So here I have an animation on this layer, and I would like to colorize this animation. I advise you first to create a new layer, because if you try to color inside this character, the problem is that, for example, later you need to change the color of uh, a cloth if um, the flat color and the line are within the same layer it's really hard to change one without affecting the other one so it's always better to use uh, several layers so i will use duplicate structure so it gives my structure and i will click and I'll put this new layer below so now if i try to fill inside this character, it doesn't work. And that's normal. Because when I'm using the paint bucket, by default, I feel following what I have in the current layer. And in this current layer, I have actually nothing. So it tries to fill everything. If I need to fill just inside those lines, I will check here I will change here the source option just here. And I will use what is above, since the line from my animation is above the layer with the colors. Here we are. So here I succeeded to color, to colorize inside my animation, but it's not very perfect. We can see here we have some gaps and uh, it's not very properly filled. So. I will change some feature here. Uh, we have, for example, the expand. The expand will expand from one, two, three X pixels, the overflow like this, it's much better. We can also lower the expand and increase the range. The range is the tolerance of the paint bucket. If, for example, I use a very low uh, range, the paint bucket will stop immediately when it detects uh, just a tiny little pixels of opacity. And if I use something too tolerant, then it overflows everything, there's no limits anymore. So you just have to pick and colors. You have other options very interesting here in the paint bucket. For example, you have the gap closer. So let's imagine here I will have a gap. So just let me create a gap. Yeah, perfect. If I try to fill to fill this zone, the gap will stop me. So I can use here the gap closer from one to three X pixels and the gap closer will avoid an empty zone without pixels. Like this. You have other options with uh, the paint bucket. For example, you have the smooth option that creates a kind of gradient this. You can also immediately manage the opacity to have something transparent. Honestly, I don't advise you to use the opacity. It's better to use some fill zone and then lower the opacity uh, from the layer. And you can also disable or enable the anti-aliasing. So when it's off, you have some edges on your flat colors. There is also another interesting feature in uh, the paint bucket. This interesting feature is the auto pick color just here. 
the Utopic color automatically picked the color from the previous image. So in order to make it easier, yes. Here we have the Utopic color and I will just change the preferences in order to see only the previous image, great. And now I can automatically pick colors and drag them and drop them at the place they belong. There is also another way to colorize an animation. Here, on this case, since I have many elements to colorize, I can't really use this function, it's not really interesting. I will use uh, these, the, the feature I am about to show you on something very simple to colorize. Here we are. Do you remember this little guy? Let's imagine I would like to colorize inside this character. So here, since this character will have the same color, uh, the head and the body will have the same color, I don't need to bother with the paint bucket. So I will, first of all, duplicate again the structure, like this, put it under. And this time I want to use the paint bucket, but I will use the fill rectangle here. And with a fill rectangle, so it's just a shape that allows me to draw a fill rectangle, nothing more. Anyway, in the tool panel, I have an option very interesting, which is the fill inside just here. So in this, you will also refine the smooth and the opacity in the anti-aliasing, the same we had in the paint bucket. But here, the fill inside that looks a little bit like the paint bucket works quite differently. So we still need to define a source above. I can still use uh, the gap closer, the expand and the range. But where it's really interesting is the fact it will, just to show you, it will fill inside a shape like this. We can even decide to include the lines. For example, if I don't use any expand, If I don't use any expands, here lines are not included and so I have some gaps. So I can include lines. And yeah, that's better. And now if I need to color inside the whole animation, because I'm a lazy person, I will draw a rectangle more or less on the whole drawing space. I won't do this because if I do so, it will fill the whole um, the whole drawing space. I will just do this, like this. Then I can select whole images. To do so, I just have to double click under the layer, like this. Then I can hit enter to apply the change. And here, all images have been colorized very quickly. And then eventually for, uh, for example, inside the mouth, I can text back the paint bucket to fill inside just the mouth. Actually, in, for the professional edition owners, there is a new feature, which is the CTG layer, the color and texturing layer, just here, which is a very peculiar layer since it also allows you to color. But since this feature is really long to explain, let's watch all the tutorials. <laughs> 